don't want to make Christmas cookies this year, but you still want your cookie jar full? Well, let the Kanga Restaurant do the baking for you. Kelly Barnes and Chef Mark join us live from Appleton. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kelly, I'll start with you. If you could let people know, what is Kanga Restaurant, and are you still traveling around town? The Kanga Restaurant is a food truck. We operate in Appleton, and absolutely, we are still out and about. Um, we always post our menu and our schedule on our website and Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. We update regularly, regularly when we get there or if we move. Um, we do a lot of local sourcing, so our menu changes all the time. It's always best to check one of those places to see what our specials are and what we're doing that day. And But you're not in the truck right now. We are not in the truck. We are in the culinary kitchen of the Fox City. This is a commercially licensed kitchen that food processors can operate out of. So this is where we do all of our prep, we do all of our soups and stews are made in this location, and this is where we'll be doing our holiday baking. Awesome. And how many cookies are on the menu for the holidays? We have eight different cookies, and um, two of them, fudge and the uh, but peanut butter buckeyes are actually more like a candy, so um, we have, but we have eight different ones to choose from. Well, Chef Mark, I know you're going to show us one of those and share the recipe with us. Yeah, this is the recipe for the uh, jam thumbprint cookies. This is one that I grew up with. Uh, you know, my family and I, we, we do tons of baking every year, and this is one that, uh, you know, Kelly said that they make as well. So we thought this would be a really good one to share. Um, I'm going to start, just most people have a stand mixer. You're welcome to use a hand mixer at home as well. I'm going to start with the butter. Um, and this recipe, I believe you said it's going to be on your website, is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah, so the measurements, you know, you can get right off the website. I've got the butter, sugar, and the egg yolks here. So kind of just a standard cookie beginning where you just kind of cream the butter and the sugars together. I'm going to get that going. And then from there, the one thing that's really different about this recipe in comparison to regular cookie recipes is there's no leavening in it. Um, I'm only using egg yolks, and I'm also not using any baking powder or baking soda. Um, and it makes for a little bit richer, denser cookie, which is kind of what we're looking for. So you can see that this is all set. Um, I'm going to dump my uh, vanilla and then my salt in here as well. Give that a quick spin. And then I'm going to add my flour. And one of the mistakes people make a lot of times when they add their flour is they over mix it. And that'll make it really tough if you think about mixing dough. You're kind of developing a lot of gluten. So I'm just going to get the flour in there and just mix it long enough to get it incorporated. Um, and then from there, this is one of those cookies that you kind of have to let the dough sit for a little bit. So we're going to wrap it up, throw it in the fridge uh, so that it cools down, makes it a little easier to work with. And then uh, you can see Kelly over here is starting to ball them up and get them all set to go in the oven. Uh, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then she's just pressing them down with her thumbprint there. Of course, the size of your thumb is going to determine <laughs> the size of your cookie. So. Uh, you're just going to get them pressed down and they're going to go in a, a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. And then we've actually got a batch in there that's about all set to come out. So after 10 minutes they're going to come out and they're not quite done at this point. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take them. Um, you can kind of reestablish that thumbprint with your thumb carefully if you need to. If it seems like they're a little bit, uh, if they've risen up a little. We're going to scoop the jam in there and we're using a jam from Mud Creek which is a local uh, local jam here made uh, actually right out of this kitchen well, and uh, it's it's absolutely delicious. Mark, they look delicious, fabulous and you you made it look so easy too. Again, we are putting that recipe online if you want to try it at home and if you want to see the other varieties that they'll bake up for you, we'll have last hour segment posted too. So there's the finished product, fox11online.com uh, is the place to go. Click on Good Day Wisconsin and we'll put links to the Kanga Restaurant. Chef Mark and Kelly, thanks so much. Merry Christmas. Thanks Thank so you, much. Rachel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.